from Love Life. I'm filming today on location at Keele University and in this video I'm going to walk you through the G by Freefall experiment and how to do it in the most cost-effective way using Pasco scientific equipment. Okay so in terms of equipment you are going to need a retort stand and a clamp, a big G clamp, a Pasco wireless smart gate, a picket fence, something to cushion the floor off the picket fence when you drop it, as an example, on the floor, I have got a big plastic box full of bubble wrap. You're also going to need a device or a computer to collect your data on and some Pasco software. The software that I'm going to be using today is SparkQ. It's Pasco's entry level software and it's also completely free for Apple, Android and Chrome devices. OK, so you'll see from the setup that I've positioned this retort stand in such a way that I can clamp it really nicely to the table and I can also suspend the smart gate over the edge of the table. The point of the experiment is that I'm going to be dropping this picket fence through the gate. So you will see on here that this has got black sections and clear sections. So as each of these black sections passes through the gate, it's going to break the beam. And this gate is going to give us velocity readings for each of these sections. So as the first section passes through the gate, it's going to be traveling at a certain velocity. Um, and then because this thing is uh, accelerating due to gravity, the next section is going to be travelling slightly faster at a higher velocity, higher velocity still, and so on and so forth as we travel up the gate. So what we're going to get the software to do is plot those velocities as a function of time, um, then take a linear fit, so basically look at the rate of change of those velocities, and then the gradient of that linear fit is going to give us our value for g. So relatively nice and easy. It's a really nice experiment to start introducing when you're thinking about you know, calculus and differentiation. It's really going to hammer home that differential relationship between uh, velocity and acceleration. Right, so all that's left to do now is pair our sensor to the PC and get the software up and running. So what I'm going to do is turn this thing on. So the status LED on the front of the unit is now flashing red, showing that it's on and ready to pair. Here is our SparkView homepage. I am going to click on Sensor Data. It's going to look for the Pasco devices in the room and it has found a smart gate. It's got this unique ID code here which is going to match the unique ID code on the front of the unit. I am going to click on it to connect. And once it's connected, the status LED on the front of the unit is going to flash green, showing that it's successfully paired. OK, so we need, just need to tell the software what we want the smart gate to do. So I'm going to click on this config wheel over here. I'm going to tell it I've got a smart gate only, and I want to use it with a picket fence. Click here and then tap OK. It's asked me for the flag spacing, so just to clear up what that is, uh, you can see that we've got black sections and clear sections. The flag spacing is those two lengths combined, which using a ruler I know is five centimetres. Um, so we've got 0 0.05 metres here, which is equivalent to five centimetres. So all I need to do is click OK. I want it to give me velocity readings and I want it to give me a graph. Click on here. So this has pulled up a graph of velocity on the y-axis against time on the x. We are in SI units, so we don't need to do any messing around with units afterwards. So now all I need to do is press start. doesn't matter if you've got a lag at the beginning of your data collection. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the picket fence above the gate and then I'm just going to drop it through. I want to make sure it's nice and parallel. Whoop. There we go. I'm going to stop data collection and I'm going to use this tool here in the graph tools just to scale to fit, auto scale my data. Oh, so it's actually a little bit wonky. Interesting. Uh, so I'm going to click here for linear fit to see what it gives us. So M is the gradient, it's giving us 9.76, which isn't too bad. Uh, let's start up an Excel spreadsheet and I can put my data in here. We'll do a few runs and calculate an error. So values for G in meters per second squared. What value did it just give me? 9.76. Okay, let's try again. I'm going to press start again. Uh, pick this up and pass it through. Definitely rotated that time. <laughs> so it might not be very accurate again. Let's see. Press stop. 
bit of a wonk on on the end. Let's linear fit it and have a look. 9.89, still not too bad. Okay, here. Uh, press start again. Right, do it really carefully this time and try and not get it to rotate. Ooh. That was a good one. Let's have a look. Auto scale again. Oh yeah, perfectly straight. And then press here. Oh, 9.77. I think that's probably okay. Should we do what our mean is out of those? So I go for equals average of these. 9.806 recurring, that's perfect. And then um, error wise, we can do the standard deviation of our results divided by root n. This is just a statistics tool to work out error on repeated values. So if we do standard deviation of u divided by the square root of 3, because I've done three trials, we get an error of 0.041, which is fantastic. Um, so yeah, wonderful. That is how you work out G, acceleration due to gravity, using the Pasco Wireless Smart Gate. Um, in terms of error on your experimental uh, method, we really want to make sure that we're passing this thing um, perfectly straight through here. So, for example, if it was to, um, say for example, go through at a slight angle, instead of measuring that perfect um, distance here, it might be measuring like um, the sine or cosine of that um, length and that's going to obviously alter your alter your reading so something to bear in mind anyway right well thank you very much for watching i look forward to seeing you again next time i hope you get really good results let me know in the comments um, and yeah join us next time thank you